Diotony stared forward at the boy standing in front of the cash register fishing through his wallet. How much will it? Oh. Yahaba stopped when he saw that it was Kayatani standing behind the counter, his face paling. Kayatani. He paused. I didn't know you worked here. Kayatani didn't respond, instead just nodding down at the item sitting on the counter between them. Yahaba. Why are you buying a baseball bat? The setter swallowed. Right. That. I. Uh. I just wanted to try something new, I guess. Kayatani's forehead creased. Seriously? You're just going to move on to a different sport? After all that shit you gave me for quitting for a year? Yeah well to be fair, you deserved that. You are literally buying a baseball bat right now, you hypocrite. Yahaba frowned. Hey. I'm not a hypocrite. You say it's bad to quit the volleyball team. Now you're quitting the volleyball team. That's the definition of hypocrisy. I'm not quitting the team, okay? Then why are you buying a baseball bat? Because. I just. I wanted to try it out, alright? Great. You're letting us all down just so you can try something out. Kayatani scoffed, shaking his head. God, Yahaba, you are just God. The setter flushed, his eyebrows furrowing. Well what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Forget it. Kayatani. Do you want the bat or not? Spit it out. Kayatani just stared at him for a long moment before furrowing his eyebrows. Fine. It means that you're a shallow, self-centered shithead who's just gonna leave us all. Oh my god, Kayatani, for the last time, I am not leaving. Then why the hell are you buying a baseball bat? Yahaba let out a huff. It's for my brother, alright? You don't have a brother. My cousin. I mean. Kayatani's scowl deepened. God, Yahaba, if you're going to abandon us, at least have the guts to tell it too. I am not abandoning you. Really? Kayatani scoffed. Because it sure as hell feels like it. What was all that stuff you said? We're partners. Kayatani, we've got to trust each other and have each other's backs and. I do have your back. No, you don't, because you're leaving me for some stupidest boys in glorified tights. Yahaba groaned. Damn it, Kayatani. Fine. You wanna hear why I'm buying a bat? I'll tell you why. He sucked in a deep breath, his voice growing closer to a shout with every word he spit out. It's because things weren't supposed to happen this way and I can't deal with this bullshit anymore and I just... I really need to beat the crap out of something, okay, I really just need to beat the living daylights out of something and so I'm buying a goddamn baseball bat so that I can go and just. He gestured at the air with his hands. Beat the living daylights out of something? Yes, beat the goddamn living daylights out of something, is that what you wanted to goddamn hear? It grew quiet between them for a long moment, Yahaba glaring forward at Kayatani with red cheeks and a creased forehead. Kayatani's expression, however, didn't change, and when he next spoke, his voice was quieter. My shift ends in 5 minutes. You can sit over there. Huh? I said sit your ass down and wait 5 minutes, Yahaba. But. You can spare 5 minutes. Now sit. Yahaba frowned, but he grabbed the baseball bat off of the counter and marched over to the chair propped up against the shop's wall anyways. Fine. Kayatani turned his head to nod at the next person in line. I can help you now. As they hesitantly stepped up to the counter, Yahaba crossed his arms, glaring at the spiker. Kayatani, however, didn't so much as glance over at him as he rang up the different customers in line. Have a nice day. The last customer smiled at Kayatani warmly before turning around and leaving the store. Turning to where Yahaba sat, Kayatani nodded his head. Come on. Come on what? Bring the bat. We're going. Going where? But Kayatani didn't answer, instead only pushing open the door and starting outside. Yahaba frowned before grabbing the bat and following him. Hey. Where are we going? The spiker only grunted in response. Kayatani. Where the hell are we going? Kayatani continued to ignore his question. However, instead swinging open the passenger side door to his truck. Get in. 
Yahaba scoffed. You seriously expect me to get in a car without knowing where you want to take me? Kayatani simply grunted again. Kayatani. No. You can use the bat as protection if you're worried. So I'm going to need protection? Get in the car, Yahaba. You've got to know how sketchy that sounds, right? Weren't you the one who said we have to trust each other? Yahaba furrowed his eyebrows, staring at Kayatani for a long moment before huffing out loudly and climbing into the truck. You better show up to my funeral. Rolling his eyes, Kayatani shut the door behind Yahaba before going around the truck to get into the driver's seat. Yahaba watched him closely as he closed the door and put in the key. I didn't pay for the bat, you know. Kayatani shrugged. My treat. Put on your seatbelt. Starting up the car, they began driving in silence, Yahaba just staring at the side of Kayatani's face. You were nice to them. Who? The customers. Yeah well it is my job. Yahaba studied his profile for a long moment before huffing out loudly, turning his face to rest his forehead on the window. Where are you driving me to? We're almost there. That's not an answer to the question. Just trust me. Well I did get in the car, didn't I? They fell into silence, and the rest of the drive passed by in quiet. After a couple of minutes, Kayatani pulled to the side of the road, and Yahaba raised an eyebrow. Seriously? This is where you wanted to go? Come on. Kayatani stepped out of the truck, Yahaba huffing out loudly before following him. An empty hill? He scoffed. Glad to know that nobody will be able to hear me scream. Yeah. What? Kayatani stopped when they reached the top, shoving his hands into his pockets. You said you wanted to beat something up. Well here we are. Yahaba just stared at him. Kayatani nodded forward at the ground. Go ahead. I. You just want me to start pounding the ground with a bat? Is that it? You were the one who said you wanted to. Well yeah, but like this is just weird. Why? Because. You I don't even know. The point is I'm not doing it. What? You embarrassed or something? Don't be ridiculous. Of course I'm not embarrassed. Then do it. Yahaba scowled. I already said I'm not going to. So you are embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. Then hit the stupid ground. You want me to just start screaming? That's what you want? Yes. That's what I want. Yahaba turned red, his frown deepening. Damn it, Kayatani, you are just so. Bringing the bat over his shoulder, the setter swung it down at the dirt. There. You happy now? Are you? Yahaba scoffed. What do you think? Kayatani crossed his arms. Then I'm not either. Damn it, you. Yahaba turned a darker shade of red, his scowl deepening even more. I just want to goddamn it. He pounded the bat against the ground, his forehead creasing. Goddamn it, goddamn it, goddamn it, goddamn it. Kayatani just stood there quietly, watching as Yahaba hit the bat against the ground as hard as he could. God, just God. Huffing out loudly, Yahaba dropped the bat to the dirt before plopping down onto the grass, his breaths heavy. Jesus Christ. What the hell am I even doing? Bringing the palms of his hands up to cover his face, he managed to laugh a little as he flopped his back down onto the dirt. Kayatani followed him, lying down on his back quietly. Do you feel any better? Yahaba scoffed. No. Maybe. Shit. I don't even know how I feel anymore. It was quiet for a long moment, the only sound on the hill being the rustle of the grass. After a prolonged pause, Yahaba exhaled loudly, letting his hands fall back down to his side. A bit, actually. I think I feel a bit better. It's just I don't know. Feelings, they just. Yahaba's palms lay face up on the ground, and he turned his head to look Kayatani straight in the eye. Sometimes I just want to tear out the grass or something, you know? Kayatani furrowed his eyebrows, reaching out to take Yahaba's fingers into his own and flip his hand over. Then do it. Yahaba stared at him for a long moment, his eyes wide, before frowning and curling his fingers around the grass. Damn it. Ripping out a chunk of the green blades, 
He threw them up at the sky. Hyatani watched as Yahaba brought his hand down to tear out more grass and chuck it up at the clouds, the spiker's golden eyes unwavering. Feel any better now? Yahaba remained quiet, turning his head to the side to study the spiker's expression. You got some grass on your face. Reaching over, he plucked off a blade that had fallen down onto Kayatani's cheek. The tips of his fingers brushed against the spiker's skin, and Kayatani went still, not daring to move. There. Yahaba dropped his hand back down to his side, turning his head back up to look at the sky. Kayatani swallowed, his gaze moving to the clouds as well. They were both silent for a long moment, and when he next spoke, Yahaba's voice was quieter. Thanks for this. You didn't have to but... Yeah, well. We gotta have each other's backs and all that other partner shit, right? Yahaba laughed, and Kayatani's shoulders relaxed a little at the sound. Yeah. And all that other partner shit. It grew quiet between them for a long moment as they watched the clouds pass by. So. He took a deep breath. You're not going to ask what made me want to beat stuff up? Kayatani shrugged. I dunno. Figured you probably didn't wanna say. Yahaba was quiet for a moment, staring into Kayatani's eyes. Then he furrowed his eyebrows. Unbelievable. Frowning, he sat up. God. You are so unbelievable. Kayatani's forehead creased, and he sat up to watch Yahaba push himself to his feet, the setter shaking his head. What? Did I say something? You just God. You're just so. Damn it. Yahaba picked up the bat's handle to slam its tip back down into the ground. You, and your stupid little understanding, and your face, and your hair, and your... God. You were so nice to them. You were so nice to those people and it just made me want to scream because you're so goddamn nice. You really are so goddamn nice in a weird, growly way and I just... He continued to pound the bat into the ground, his expression all scrunched up. And then your face, oh my god, your face, it makes me want to just... Damn it. Kayatani furrowed his eyebrows. So, like, is this a bad thing, or... It's just a thing, okay, it's a dumbass thing that I can't seem to god. Screw this. Kayatani watched as Yahaba slammed the bat harder into the dirt. Screw this, and screw you, and screw stupid little dumb feelings that are so stupid and dumb and, damn it, they should be little but screw them and. Okay Yahaba, I have no clue what you're talking about now. I don't either. I don't have the first clue what I'm talking about because I've never. God, I've never been in love with somebody before. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Yahaba smashed the bat against the grass. What. The. Hell. Am. I. Supposed. To. Do. Damn it. What the hell am I supposed to God? Yahaba stopped pounding the ground, letting the bat just hang loosely from his fingers as he panted heavily, his cheeks pink and his eyes fixed on the dirt. Damn it. Sorry. I sorry. It was quiet for a long moment, Kayatani just watching the setter in silence before standing up and holding his hand out palm up to Yahaba. Pass the bat. Yahaba looked up at him, furrowing his eyebrows. What? I said pass the bat. Yahaba paused, but after a long moment, he hesitantly placed the wooden bat in Kayatani's outstretched hand. Thank you. Winding up his arm over his shoulder, Kayatani chucked the bat as far as he could down the hill. Then he turned to Yahaba, who was just gaping at him with his brown eyes widened. That's how you make me feel. You. Yahaba blinked at him. What the hell, Kayatani? What the hell was that? Kayatani's cheeks turned a bit pink. I was just trying to show you. Well what am I supposed to take from that? Like am I the bat? Oh my god, wait, do you want to throw me down eh? No, you're not the bat, I'm the bat, you're damn it. He huffed out loudly, his cheeks flushing pinker. Well I don't know, I guess you're like the hill or something. Huh? Yahaba's forehead creased. What the hell does that mean? You see me as a mound of dirt? No, of course not, I got. This sounded like a better idea in my head. Just. Kayatani stepped forward, his face red as he took Yahaba's cheeks into the palms of his hand. Can I? 
Yahaba, however, couldn't do anything but stare down at him for a long moment, his brown eyes wide. Then he frowned, furrowing his eyebrows. Screw you. Leaning down, he pressed his lips against Kayatani's, his hand coming up to rest lightly on the spiker's hip. When he pulled his head back after a moment, his forehead was creased. I'm not just some goddamn hill. Kayatani scoffed. You were the one who was yelling screw you. And slamming a bat into the ground. Well you were the one who gave me the bat. Only cause you wanted it. Yeah, well. Yahaba paused, looking down into the spiker's golden eyes and biting his lip. So, what does this mean? Kayatani shrugged. You tell me. Well I don't know. He hesitated. More of that partner shit, maybe? If you re-up for it? Kayatani's eyebrows relaxed a little as he gazed up into the taller boy's brown irises. Yeah, okay. The tips of his lips turned upwards. More of that partner shit then. The end.